Was that the best batch of overheads you ever hit? Yeah, those ones are really nice. <laughs> I think you have the right idea with your overhead. There's one timing element that I think is going to help you be more consistent. Getting yourself to the side, dropping the racket, just like on a serve, uh, coming up overhead. You didn't position yourself great on this one, but it should be a little bit more to the left. And most of them, you did. Most of them, you do that. That you you have you have like the right pieces there. Okay. The main thing that I, I'd like you to try that I think will help you feel more confident in it is I want you to watch the rhythm of your racket. Um, I'm gonna play through four or five and just watch your racket. And I want you to watch how once the lob goes in the air, your racket never really stops moving. moving. It, it kind of, you have a preference of just keeping it going through like the whole path. And you never really arrive at like a set, like preparation position. The racket just kind of keeps moving the whole way through. Okay. You're ah. feeling all the time with constant movement and there's never any like preparation moment or point. Okay. So again, watch my racket. It's the same feed. It's the same setup. And I want you to look at the difference in how I manage the time. How would you describe? Sit, 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 sit. Drop and swing. Sit, is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, it's stable. It's, it's, it's in trophy for a long period of time, right? Yeah. Now it's even though it's the exact same feed, Wow. And I'm actually closer to the ball than you, you know, I'm, I got a couple inches of right, like, right. I'm closer to the oncoming ball. And yet somehow, how, how is it possible that it looks like I have so much more time? It's the same feed. It's the exact same setting on the, the ball machine, but it looks like I'm just waiting. Whereas you're like filling the, the time, like the, the entire time is, is filled. So what's happening is once I read, notice how I'm split stepping by the way, and I'm even doing like a correctly timed split step. So I'm, right. I'm kind of killing that time as well. But once I recognize it's an overhead, I'm going up directly to a trophy pose. Like I've identified it, I've prepared, and now no matter what happens between now and when I need to swing, I'm ready anytime. And so rather than, than trying to like time out constant movement, I'm, I have a preparation phase and then a drop and swing phase. You already know you're in the right place. Do I already know what? You already know you're in the right place for the overhead. Position wise? Yeah. Oh no, that's why I'm going here because it might be that there's a gust of wind or I misread it and I got, oh crap, I gotta like get over here. Oh, okay. And my whole point is if I'm in process of like doing this with my racket and I suddenly realize the ball is not where I thought it was, then I've got a whole lot of like stuff to do with my arm, kind of like your kind of like your backhand. Whereas me, I can take a, like a quick step over and then drop and swing because I'm already in a prepared to swing position. So basically, preparation is right in the trophy. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. We're gonna cut out all the other stuff. Yeah, and just go right to preparation. Yeah, until you're ready to swing. Now why is that uncomfortable? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe because you've never done it before. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Let's practice a couple of times, just going from ready position to that setup position. Yeah, that's right, Susan. A few more of those. Nice job. All right, check this out. What we're basically doing is creating a preparation phase. Phase, yeah. Where we're immediately going back into that preparation position and from here, regardless of if you timed it correctly or judged it wrong or whatever, like you're ready to drop and swing anytime. So all that's left to do is to relax your arm and then rotate your body. So rhythm wise here, this is great. If we can start making this your habit of just lob, prepare, lob, prepare. Like you just immediately, there's no questions. You're just going back to, a, I could hit from this position, position. Okay. Okay, so let's add the forward swing now. So what I'd like you to do is go from ready position to preparation position, count to two, and then drop your arm and swing through. Okay, so make, make, make it a deliberate like pause just to practice preparation, then drop and swing. Yep, that's good, that's a good tempo. Preparation, drop and swing. 
Yep. Good. I like those a lot. Watch how you're going from your preparation phase to drop and swing phase. So we've segmented it now. Prep, drop and swing. That's what we want. Drop and hit. Yep, one more of those. Prep, drop and hit. All right, ready? Prep. Yeah, good, good, good. Right idea, right idea. Now you're a little bit early on the swing. Um, this is gonna take re- Programming. Yeah, familiarizing yourself with like the, the timing of it. The good news is you got to prep, you had a slight pause, and you were still a little bit early, which means you had a little more time that you could hang out here okay. and, still, and still actually hit the ball on the strings. All right, so two practice ones. Yep, prep, drop and swing. All right, here we go with the ball, prep. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Nice, good job. Here's practice, drop and hit. Here's the ball, prep, good. So that's, this time we had immediate preparation. We had a little bit of hangout and pause here. That's okay. What's that, the racket face? Yeah. It's not ideal if we want to hit 100 mile an hour overhead. Right, But so in I, turn, want to, I want to stay longer than the trophy with, with this position. No, I, I think this was about right. Oh, okay. You weren't late. You were just in the wrong position. You oh, ended okay. up really reaching and stretching, you know, pretty okay. far away. Yeah, I, I don't, I have a hard time reading a high ball laterally. Yeah. Side to side, yeah. So your ti timing wise, if you were early, then that would mean that you were reaching with your arm, but the ball was still like up here. Okay. Which is what happened on the previous shot. You like hit it right off the top edge of uh, the, the racket. Okay. So you're, you're not early here. You're just too far away. It's too far away. Yeah. So timing wise, well, I'm frozen because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm freezing like the, the exercise rather than moving my feet. I'm getting up here and I'm waiting for the ball to come to me. Which is what we want. Like we want to wait. Okay. We don't want to fill the time just to fill the time. Yeah, but I, I still have to move to the ball. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I understand what you're saying. So you're, you're saying your feet are freezing also? Yeah. No, 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 okay, no. gotcha. So let's, let's do this. You're going to have your racket in this hand. You're going to go to a trophy position. I want you to extend your your arm up, and we're just going to catch we're just going to catch some balls in the cone. Okay. So your goal here is going to be to leave your arm, well both arms, leave both arms, and so let's see if the remote works. What I don't want to see, watch me, is is this, or or this. Like oh I caught it, but the ball's not in the right place. I want to see you position yourself so that the ball falls in a position that you want to be in anyway. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> so go ahead, put yourself in a trophy position. Extend that left arm up, like your, your left arm. Extend your left arm. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Now use your feet. All right, we got to find it. Okay, good try, good try. There you go. You cheated with your arm a little bit on that one. Let's see if we can leave your arm totally straight. Go ahead, trophy pose. Yep, now use your feet. Good adjustment, good adjustment. Trophy pose. Keep going. There you go, there you go, keep going. Oh, it's getting more consistent. Good. You started getting a little bit better at it. So here's like an example of what we don't want to see is, is having to do this yeah. in order to get the ball yeah, like in, in the cone. We want to see like a solid, steady, serve-like position from start to contact to, fit, to follow through without having to make some kind of last second. Adjustment. Yeah, lean or adjustment. Okay. Pretty good. But now we also... But part, I'm not rotated enough. Yeah, I think maybe part of this is just like visually, I don't... If there's just like some uh, 
difference in like your your depth perception in one eye or the other? Uh, that's probably my astigmatism, maybe. Yeah, could be. So it, it looks to me, like you said, maybe you're just more comfortable tracking the ball like straight on. And when we get you to this sideways position, then you're just having a hard time tracking, you know, with the more with the left side than with the with the right side. So this is honestly just something we need to work on is developing your your judgment, your depth perception. Yeah, the more you did it, the more straight on you got. And we have to be able to do it from a sideways position if you want to hit a solid, yeah, okay. you know, a solid overhead. Let's do a couple more. Okay. And I want to see if you can go sideways more. Yep. Get to a solid trophy position. Go ahead and set it up now. Yep. Uh, left arm a little bit higher. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's a solid position. All right, now see if you can hold that position when the ball comes. And don't break from that position. Yeah, good. That's your best one so far. Okay, come on back here and just watch. Just watch this. Go watch how solid you are here. Hey, this position is solid to begin with. But watch how you maintain it and hold it. Because you didn't catch the ball, but you put it in the right spot. And this is, you know, in a nutshell, this is what we need to be able to do in order to hit a solid shot consistently. Good, again, keep your pose, keep your pose. Okay. There you go. Yeah, good. Back to the pose. There you go, Susan. Yeah, good, it's getting better, it's getting better. Solid pose. Yeah, there you go. That was way better. Like the, Your consistency there was like, bang on like you had like five or six in a row that landed exactly where we wanted the ball to land and you weren't having to lean or stretch or like move like your arm around to catch it you maintained a solid position almost the whole time so the these couple here were awesome like you got to a solid position in the first place and then you maintained it all the way up until contact okay. this is phase one and then phase two is when do I begin this? The, yeah, that's the next, and we have to marry those together. Okay. Now, if it's not in the right spot, yeah, come, come on over here. But, toss higher, but that, there's, you can see with my... Uh, no, that was high enough. I'll, I'll show you the replay in a second. So here's the trophy pose. Now I'm going to put the ball where you put it, but I'm, I'm going to do something different. Yeah. So watch, watch the, the difference here. Come here, come on, come on back here. So That's the part of me that setup gets. looks great. Now, if it's a bad toss, fine. Kind of the whole point of this is we need to be active and dynamic uh, okay. with, yeah, with your feet. And so you put it in the wrong spot and you just stood there and just took it in the wrong position. And that's what we don't want to do on overheads. Like we want your whole structure to be in the, the right spot. Okay. So for me, this was a bad toss, but then I made the adjustment yeah, to go, yeah. to go get it in the right. And you're going to have to do that all the time. Yeah. Like at the last second, like, oh crap, I got to make it. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, okay. This is a good place to actually practice that. So solid trophy pose first. Yep. Toss and then right spot. Good. Yeah. Good. Good adjustment. Good adjustment. Nice job. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, good, good, good adjustment. Nice job, good. That's right. I want to put the ball in just the right spot, using your feet. And you might even make bad tosses on purpose. Like, okay. yeah, just maybe they'll all start being perfect if you try to make them bad. <laughs> you never know. And then, like, toss them to the right, toss them to the left, toss them back, toss them forwards. Okay. Just make sure you get to a good trophy pose first. And then use your feet. Yeah, good. That was nice. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good, good adjustment, good adjustment. Let's do three. Good.
Yeah, good effort. Yeah, good, Susan. That was a tough one. Excellent. Yeah. Are you doing those on purpose? Yeah. All right, good, good. Oh, tough one. Yeah, good. Nice job. What you want to feel is the same relative position between your ball and your body on every, no matter where you toss it. Oh, what, I see, I see. Whether it's here, whether it's here, whether it's here, whether it's here, right, exactly. We want to make the relationship between the ball and your body a constant, no matter where on the court the ball is. Okay. That's the, that's the whole goal here. Goal. So this is a little bit, just a little bit right. Oh, crap. Yeah. Not far off though. Like it's in the ballpark, but you're, you're stretching with your arm just a little bit. A lot of movement here to get to that spot. Really, really good. That's awesome. So that this is right about perfect. That's where we want contact to be. Just a little bit to the right of the body. Go ahead and set it. Yep. Here it comes. Okay. You let that fall a little bit too far. Here we go. There you go, there you go. That was a nice spot. Go ahead and set it. Okay, it's fine. Distance from your body, I think is really good. Okay. Now, interestingly, oh, you, you let it drop too, I was late. you let it drop a little bit too low. Okay. Yeah. So that one's a little bit too low. Let's see if there's a pattern here. A little bit further away. It's also, it's also low. It hit off the bottom of your racket again. Yeah. Let's see if that's a pattern. So that's pretty far away too. Also so my, the bottom. So my swings are too late. On average, you're waiting too long. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't see that. I thought maybe it was on the side of the racket. Yeah. These are all dropping, all dropping too low. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to that spot. Yeah. I want you to, again, let it come in a little closer to your body and let's swing earlier before you think you have to. Okay, good, 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 good. Work with that, work with that. That's better, Susan. That looks great. Do that again. Okay, that's fine. Just a little bit early. Awesome, awesome, awesome. A little bit too far away. Get closer. You waited too long. You waited too long. That was the bottom of the racket. There you go, there you go. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Was that the best batch of overheads you ever hit? Yeah, those ones are really nice. <laughs> I think you need like a million repetitions of just hanging out in an easy spot with an easy feed and just feeling like good contact again and again and again. And you, you really, have to build really some. much earlier than I would even think. Yeah? So, is there a, yeah, look at, anything that is a reference? <laughs> I like references. Unfortunately, only if you always get the same feed. <laughs> um, if, the, if the ball coming in is always the same height, always the same speed, always the same spin, right, right, then we could say like, oh, you just count one, two, and then you swing. Right, right, right. But in real life, yeah, of all of those variables are different. And so you have to learn in real time how to make a, a good judgment call. Right. But first, I think you just need to feel and grab onto what is the appropriate spot where I even want to hit the ball? This looks fantastic. So even if it's the same feed a thousand times and you just groove it, I think that's very valuable repetition for you right now. So at least you can feel the difference of like, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is what I want. 